attention to the fallout of the coronavirus pandemic. The global tourism industry is one of the largest industries in the world. And seven months into this pandemic, no sector is more at risk from the fallout than this industry. In the last five months alone, the tourism sector has lost almost $320 billion. Our next report gets you more on how this pandemic has devastated a once flourishing industry. Take a look. Tourism is the third largest export sector of the global economy. It employs one out of ten people in this world. In 2019, the tourism industry accounted for 7% of global trade. But with strict travel restrictions and international flights grounded, the industry is now grappling with a crisis that it has never witnessed before. From tour guides to street vendors, everyone who depends on tourist spending is suffering huge losses. In the last five months alone, the tourist arrivals have halved, with more than 120 million jobs at risk. According to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, while the crisis was a major shock for wealthier, developed nations, for most of the developing countries, it was an emergency. Tourism for some of these countries represents more than 20% of their GDPs. Not just that, the hit to tourism has the potential to become a major drag on the global economy. The fall of export revenues from tourism could also reduce the global GDP by 1.5% to 2.8%. According to the UN World Tourism Organization's Chief of Market Intelligence and Competitiveness, Sandra Carvalho, the loss in revenues is three times of what was lost during the 2009 global financial crisis. Since uh, mid-March, when uh, most of the countries entered into lockdown periods, we've seen that 100% of destinations worldwide have imposed some kind of travel restrictions. That has translated into a loss of over 50% of international tourists traveling in the first five months of this year, uh, which means that in terms of spending, the money that tourists spend when they travel abroad, which is an export sector, uh, we have lost... 320 billion US dollars. Just to give you an idea, this is four times almost as much as we lost during the whole year of 2009. So what is the way forward for the travel industry? From health passports to air travel bubbles, several concepts are now being talked about as ways to rebuild the global tourism industry slowly. Look at health passports with all due cautions, considering that it's not even at this moment clear if um, someone that has had uh, the disease at some point uh, is actually immune to it. So um, it's important to whatever countries um, decide to always coordinate with national health authorities. As many countries around the world deal with the second wave of COVID-19 infections and countries reimpose restrictions, it looks like travel will now be a distant dream for many of us and the industry will have to reinvent itself in order to survive. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. Restaurant owners across the world vie.